The Department of Education said Tuesday that mandatory classes for all public and private schools nationwide will start by November 2 to ensure educational recovery in country. In a virtual press briefing, DepEd Undersecretary Adam Carmona said schools will be given options of in-person, blended, or full-distance learning only until October 31. But after this, all enrolled students will be required to attend face-to-face -face classes under DepEd Order 034, Series of 2022. Beside me is DepEd Secretary to tell about these mandatory classes. What can you say about it, Mr. Adam? This is mandatory. They are all required to go to school, and the mandate is still to eventually go full face-to-face. -face. Everybody who is enrolled must abide by the department order. Parents are also encouraged to ensure that their children is, uh, really go into school. Again, we are trying to do some educational recovery. But some parents express skepticism over the mandatory approach considering the possible surge of infections. Like Miss Marika Slawas, a 30 years old mother of two kids in Laguna. What if they raise the alert level to the cities where we live as a mother and will not risk my child's health and safety to the places where virus is continuously spreading? Because not all of us are fully vaccinated, right? The government should set the best protocols for everyone's safety. But I also have some hesitations because honestly, for the past two years, children barely learn anything because there is no formal or proper learning. Aside from that, not all parents are capable and able to teach their children. We would like to note that there will be no inspections, tools, or any additional requirements to reopen schools and to implement five-day in-person classes, which will be required except for the compliance with the usual pre-pandemic regulatory permit and licenses required by the law. The DepEd said it no longer demands additional requirements from school before they could resume with five in-person class setup. This is Jersey and Parahan reporting.